Brewers taking on the Cubs. A happy Mother's Day from Milwaukee. Kyle Hendricks on the mound for Chicago. Matt Garza getting the start for the Brewers. Pick it up top of the third. Runners at the corners. It's Garza facing Miguel Montero. 1-1 one, one pitch. And that is a diving stop by Segura. Throws to second. Got him. Wow, what a play by Gene Segura. That looked to be ticketed to left field for sure. Now the one by Garza on the pitch. This one is trouble. Hit in the air to left to the Brewers. Bullpen and gone. When he hit it, it was big trouble. One nothing Chicago in the sixth. He's in each of the last two. Maldonado a drive deep left field. This game is tied. Tried to sneak a fastball in on his hands. Maldonado saying, I don't think so. Matt Garza at 100 pitches, so that's going to be his night. And uh, trying to get him a win if the Brewers can get another run here. 1-1 one, one tie, 1-1 one, one pitch, swinging a high fly ball to left. Deep, Coughlin back on the warning track. Looks, and there it goes! Elian Herrera has hit one over the wall and left. And the Brewers go back to back to take the lead. The Brewers number seven and eight hitters hit consecutive home runs off Zach Roscup. And they've turned a deficit into the lead. Here's the one, two. Fly ball to right. Ryan Braun going back, and it's going to go off the wall. Fowler rounding third. They'll wave him in. Here's Danette's throw to the plane, and Maldonado cannot hang on. Fowler scores, and the game is tied. Great counsel. Ending his first week as the Brewers manager. Got a couple of thrillers. Here's the 1 1. There it is. Brewers win it. Maldonado ends the game for the Brewers. He tied it in the seventh. He ends it in the 11th. The Brewers take it 3 2 in 11 innings and win two out of three from the Cubs. Martin Maldonado finishes three for five with two RBIs. Matt Garza pitches well, getting a no decision, allowing one run in seven innings while striking out nine.